so heartless And you don't care And I don't even know what I've been fighting for You got me hoping And you don't care And I don't even know what I've been fighting for The glass dropped from your hands and scattered into pieces when it hit the floor the relationship you were trying to mend which got a little better after a lot of efforts scattered just like this glass in no time those promises turn into lies and all this was happening behind your back which you weren't even aware of oh my are you okay you shifted your glossy eyes at her. She came near you but your vision was blurry. She moved you a little to the other side from the pieces of glass. I know how you are feeling now. It's heartbreaking but it's the truth, Vian. You slowly looked at her still hoping it was some kind of ugly prank. Tia, is this really Jungkook's child? Her expression changed into disbelief. Do you think I'm lying to you? You shook your head while wiping your tears. No, I'm not saying that. She got up. I know everything has become clear between both of you. You guys now love each other, but what about me? I love him with my whole heart. He promised to me that he will never leave me, but then he got forced to marry you. I saw him crying on my shoulder. I'm the one who comforted him in his hard times. And suddenly he turned his back against me. In the guilt of hurting you, he broke up with me to start a new life with you but still didn't get over from me and this child is the proof of his love for me. What about this, Vyan? What is the fault of this innocent soul in this? But he told me that he ended this relationship a long ago, then how? I mean, you paused when she scoffed. Do you really think it's that easy to move on? Or you are just trying to defend him for your selfishness? You just had tears in your eyes and emptiness in mine. You could not think of anything. Two months ago, he came in my apartment, completely drunk and exhausted. He needed emotional support and he knows where he can get it. And if you don't believe me, you can ask Jungkook. Your heart was aching so bad. I don't want to hurt you, Vyan, but after knowing about this child, I don't want to separate it from his father. If I were on your place, I would have sacrificed him after knowing he gave more importance to someone else than me. I will not become selfish like you, Vyan. You lift up your eyes and looked at her. Did you only came here to humiliate me? Why didn't you tell him about it first? Why came here? Because I know you are the only one who can hold him back. That's why I'm here. She dropped on her knees. Please, Vyan, I'm begging you, don't separate this child from its father. Not me, but at least think about this child. You were standing there like you freezed. So many emotions surrounded you from inside. Tia got up and wiped her tears. Even if you don't leave him, I will keep this child and raise it by myself. Let's see how selfish you can become to hold on to a man who doesn't even love you. She picked her back and walked away from there while you dropped on your knees and a sob finally left your mouth. Jungkook came back home and he was looking so tired. He looked around and got a little confused to see all the lights off. It was weird because you never turn off the lights cause you are afraid of dark. He walked towards your room to check on you. When he opened the door, he again welcomed by the darkness. He slowly walked inside and saw you sleeping on the bed turning your face to the other side. 
Vayan, you are already sleeping this early. Is everything okay? No reply from you and it made him more worried. He walked near you and sat in front of you. Luckily, it was dark enough that he didn't notice you were crying silently. What happened, Vayan? He tried to touch your face, but you turned your face to the other side. But your tear made the tip of his finger red. Are you crying? He turned on the lights and made you look at him. What happened to you? Are you feeling hurt somewhere? He started to get more worried while you removed his hand. What's wrong? Tell me, Vyan. Should we go to the hospital? You sat down and looked to the other side. Vyan, why are you not saying anything? Tell me, what's wrong? This time you finally decided to look at him. He could clearly see the pain in your eyes. If I tell you what's wrong, would you fix it? He didn't able to understand what you are trying to say, but he nodded because he can't see you in this condition. I will try. Tell me. You chuckled weakly. So I am again going to be fooled by your lies, right? He frowned after your statement. What are you saying, Wyan? When did I lie to you? I never fool you, Wyan. Oh really? Then how I never got to know that you seek outside for your emotional support. I should have known that I am just a forced woman in your life who completely changed your life, who bound you away from your happiness. What are you talking about, Wayne? I never think that. And what emotional support are you talking about? I didn't understood what you are trying to say. Why you never told me you are still in contact with Tia? Why you lied to me, Junko? I have already told you everything, Vyan. I was in relationship with her and you already know that. We ended months ago. You again looked at him. Then how is she pregnant with your child, Jungkook? Jungkook's heart dropped and proud frowned in confusion. It was a completely unexpected surprise for him. P pregnant? Yes, she is pregnant with your child. He shook his head. No, it's impossible. It is completely impossible. Tia scoffed and looked at Jungkook. Seriously Jungkook, you are doubting me? Her tears finally started to drop down. But it's not possible, Tia. We never had a physical contact, so how can it be possible? You were standing a little distance from them, and it was the most hurtful thing you were witnessing in front of your eyes. Don't know whom to believe and what to do. You could feel truth in Jungkook's words, but Tia wasn't looking like she's lying. But what Jungkook said raised a hope inside you because you knew he could never lie and Tia is his first love. He would do anything for her so he has no reason to lie. How could you not remember that? You came near them although you were so afraid to become a third wheel between them but still this is also important for you as for them. Are you sure about it Tia? I mean, if you guys didn't have anything, then how it is possible? She looked at you with eyes full of hate. How low you can go to keep him quiet? Tia, you can't talk to her like that. Wow, you're raising your voice at me for her? Is she became that special to you, Jungkook? How could you not remember the night you came to me all drunk? Say that I'm wrong. Say that you didn't cry in my arms. Tell me that I'm wrong. You looked at Jungkook like a broken soul, but he just looked at you unable to deny this fact. You said you don't remember because you were not in your senses. But I was. I never realized that you were just using me. He shook his head. That day I came to clear things with you, dear. But you never said anything. You told me that you can never forget me. No one can take my place in your heart.
Just tell me that you don't want to take responsibility of this child. Just say that and I won't beg you anymore. I'm already feeling devastated. How could you even question me, Junko? You are not the guy I love. She then looked at you. Congratulations, Vyan. Heal is all yours. But always be careful. Who knows he'll do same with you after finding another girl. The tears dropped down while Junko looked at her. Let's do a DNA test. Enough, Junko. They both looked at you while you looked him with teary yet angry eyes. Enough of you. You don't need to pity on me anymore. You don't need to hurt her feelings anymore. Why don't you just accept your fault? It was my fault from the starting. I was the third wheel in your story. Jungkook shook his head. Let me explain why in. What would you explain? Do you have answer of any of her question? Didn't you went to her house that night? Didn't you stayed there whole night? Do you have any memory of that night? He slowly lowered his eyes unable to look into yours. I'll sign the divorce papers tomorrow. He looked at you shocked. Why and give me some time. I don't want any proof, Shanko. If you have ever loved me, you had never done anything like that and now I don't want to be the cause of someone's heartbreak. You left from there while Jungkook was about to follow you, but Tia fell down unconscious. Tia, he quickly picked her up and ran to the hospital. It's normal during pregnancy, so no need to worry. He let out a sigh of relief. Thank you so much, doctor. He smiled and nodded. Make sure she won't take much stress. It's unhealthy for a pregnant woman. He looked at Jungkook and then nodded. Then a doctor came with a report and handed it to Jungkook. He looked at him confused. The DNA is hundred percent matching. It's your child, Mr. Jungkook. Your heart dropped. You couldn't able to stand on your feet and had to use the wall for support. Earlier you had a little hope, but now everything is clear. That little hope also vanished. Jungkook looked at you because he was too shocked to speak. He still doesn't remember anything. Why? He tried to come near you, but you stopped him. Don't come near me. Why and listen to me? I I really don't remember how this. I I just went there to clear the things. I wanted to move on, so I went to tell her that I'm ending this relationship. It's true I was a little drunk, but this never happened. I swear. Stop it, Jungkook. How many lies would you still tell me? Are these reports also false? You got up and wiped your tears. I'm sorry, but I can't live with you anymore. She is the one who needs you the most now, and also your child. I'll sign the divorce papers tomorrow. Let's end this here. Earlier I was bound to be in this relationship. I gave you the time you needed. I bear everything just for the sake of our family reputation, for my dad, for you. But now I have no reason. Why? It's not what you are thinking. I clearly remember that I never did anything like that. How can you prove this DNA test wrong, Jungko? He looked down feeling helpless because even his fate was against him. Today, no matter how much he try, he doesn't remember anything clearly. You walked away from there. Why and please listen to me. He ran after you but he drove off. You are here and I was looking for you everywhere. She said coming in the balcony but Jungkook didn't even look at her. He was busy in drinking as his heart was crying and killed and he was holding the divorce papers on which you have already signed. Jungkook
She came near him while he slowly looked at her. You have drink enough. Now let's go. She tried to grab his hand but he jerked. Why didn't you stop me that day? He was crying and she noticed that. You know that I finally started to love Ayan. It took me a lot of time but I fell for her harder. Then why didn't you stop me? She turned at him. Because I love you too. I always wanted to give you all the happiness. Then how could I deny? Didn't you told me you were not happy with this marriage? That was a long ago. I said that because I was not ready. I never thought I will fall for her harder. So what do you want now? If you want to go back then you can. I forgot that I am only a mistress. I was only there for your service. She angrily left from there. Jungle girl down another bottle. I can't believe he's that kind of a guy. But if you knew about his mistress, why did you stay with him? You were looking at your lap on which your tears were dropping like raindrops, making your dress wet. It wasn't a choice. You know that too. I didn't say anything because she was the woman he loved before me. I'm the one who were forced in his life. But everything became better, Emily. You try to hold your tears. We fell in love. Or I say I did. I never thought he was still in love with her. She sat beside you and carries your bag. I can understand how you're feeling now. But what if he's saying the truth? I mean, what if the child is not his? You slowly looked at her. I also wished for it, but this is not true. Their DNA tests are matching. What will you say to your mother? I won't tell her. Not now. She's already in the grief of death. I don't want to break her by this news. What would you do then? I've already signed the divorce papers and I'm moving to Florida to start up a new life. Vyan, you sure you'll be okay? You nodded. I have to. I don't want to sit and ruin my life. She hugged you and patted your back. I'm proud of you. You are so brave, my friend. Someday you'll get back all your happiness. Just wait for the right time. You closed your eyes, letting the tears fall. Six months later. Thank you so much. He smiled and took the coffee from his hands while he flashed his adorable smile and walked towards his chair before sitting on it. No need for thanks. I can at least do this much for you. After all, you are working so hard these days. He took a sip and looked at him. You have put your trust on me for this project. I am entitled to give my best. He chuckled. How can I not trust the current sensation of this company who just gave a project that made a blockbuster entry in the global market only one month after joining? He chuckled a little. It was everyone's effort. He nodded. I agree, but the mastermind was you. Maybe it wasn't my luck. In fact, everything seems to be a luck by chance here. I got this job unexpectedly. Then this project. It was too much than I expected. Good people always get what they deserve, and it's just a starting. Many things are waiting for you ahead. Do you really think that? Think? I'm completely sure about that. You both laughed. Emily helped you in reaching out to companies and apply for jobs. You got selected by a few companies for interviews, and then you finally moved to Florida and got a job as a secretary. In Kim groups, slowly everything started to soothe in, in your life. It was way easier than you thought. In these six months, you never got any news about Jungkook. He doesn't even know where you are right now. You will change your phone number so that he won't contact you again. But it's not that easy to forget all those years with him, to erase those few but sweet memories with him. How happy you were in your life. He finally accepted the marriage and worked hard, just like you, to make it better. The first kiss of your life you experienced with him. 
Everything was way too dreamy. It took two years to build that happy family, but it didn't even took two minutes to break it apart. You never forced him to love you. In fact, you never thought he would fall for you. So you never stopped him. You wanted his feelings to be genuine and not forced. You gave yourself a time and if things won't work, you would also plan to leave him. But nothing like that happened. He himself realized his feelings and fell in love with you. But suddenly everything disappeared like a dream and you left heartbroken. How about having dinner together? Sure. You nodded with a smile. It's not here too. He said securing the phone between his shoulder and ear while searching for something in the closet. Look carefully, it's there. I'm ending the call. Wait for some time. I'll find and come to the hospital. She sighed and ended the call. Jungkook put the phone inside his pocket and opened the drawer to look for Tia's medicines, which they have to take to hospital to show the doctor. He found the envelope in the last drawer as he picked it and was about to close, but his eyes fell on the other envelope. He picked it and got up. He put the other envelope on table and opened the other one in his hands. He squinted his eyes to take a closer look, but his world turned upside down when he realized these are the DNA results of him and the child. It was clearly shown that the DNA is not matching and the child is not Jungkook's. His hand clenched into fist. It was all fabricated by Tia just to get him from me. He grabbed his car keys and angrily rushed outside. Only he knows how these six months went through without you. In fact, he doesn't even know where you left. He still didn't sign the divorce papers. After you left, he realized how much part of his heart you are carrying with yourself. He was not cheerful as before. He still think about you all day and night. He looked for you everywhere but no one knows where you are except Emily, who would never tell him about you as you took promise from her. Jungkook is still in the process of searching you and he will not going to give up until he finally finds you. What took you so long to come? The doctor is waiting. Her voice slowed down coming to the end as she saw Jungkook wasn't in a good mood. She could see the anger in his eyes but why? Jungkook came near her. You are looking tensed. What happened? Whose child is this? She frowned in confusion after hearing such question. What are you saying Jungkook? What's wrong? I'm asking whose child is this? He was in a horrible mood. Of course you're, but what? She flinched when Jungkook hit the wall. Stop lying to me. Why are you playing with my life? She noticed the envelope in his hands and instantly understood the matter. Why? Why did you do that? Why did you lie about it? Because you ruined my life, so how can I let you live peacefully? He slowly looked at her while her expressions were blank. What? Yes, how easy it was for you to move on with that fine, right? But then what about me? How easily you took that decision of ending everything with me. But it wasn't easy as you think, Jungkook. I am the one who came in your life before her. But she got what I only dream of. In fact, you also fell in love with her. How could I see getting everything out of my hands? Jungkook's jaw clenched as he grabbed her throat. She tried to free herself but when he noticed she is getting out of breath, he let go of her. All that was a lie, right? I wasn't that much drunk till I remember. But I do got unconscious after drinking what you gave me. You took advantage of that, right? Yes, I did. Do you really think I still love you? Eh? You are too low for my standards, you know, and also, you are right, this is not your child. His father is not weak like you, who can't even fight for his love. I just wanted to teach you a lesson, and I did. You lost everything, and that's what I wanted. 
she took the envelope of, of medicines and walked away oh looks like you really needed it but that's enough he tried to take the shot from your hand but you didn't let him don't stop me you gulped it down and dropped your head on the counter while tears could clearly visible in your eyes Tiang's heart ached a little seeing your helplessness though he doesn't know about you much but he does came to know about your life and how you ended up here despite of being a boss and kali you both have become good friends too Whoever said it's easy to move on and everything heal with time is wrong according to me because if that's true then why I'm still there why I still can't forget him But the truth is I can never go back to him because he's already belongs to someone else